Hello everybody, welcome to Living with Arthritis. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet. Uh, I was in a little workout and I had to stop so I could put this video out before you guys real quick, otherwise I know I wouldn't get it done. Uh, I didn't realize anybody was still watching. Um, so anybody who is newly subscribed or for those people that are still watching, uh, thanks. Um, like and comment please so I'll know that you're uh, still getting something out of these videos. Um, this, is a, this is a big one. This is what I've been utilizing a lot lately. Um, when I first started working out when I was young, you know, I'd save my strength. I'd do my favorite lift first and I wouldn't warm up at all. I'd want to attack it with all my strength because I felt like I was going to run out of strength quickly and I wanted to get the most weight up as possible. 45 now. And my joints, you know, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, you know, sometimes it, uh, my joints don't feel like lifting heavy weight. This is a great way to help you expose your muscles to uh, multiple rep ranges to, to help get your joints ready for the heavy weight, to get your muscles used to heavy weight, and to really, really burn them out. And it's able to do all that in record time. Um, I'm a busy guy. I don't have a lot, you know. I don't have a lot of time, so I have to make, get the most out of my workouts. Um, what I'm going to show you, I mainly use for when I do my leg work, workout to help me with my knees. I use it for military press, and I use it for bicep curls. Those are, that's what I use it for. You can apply this technique to pretty much any exercise. My shoulders and my knees and my elbows are what bothers me the most. So this has helped tremendously. So okay, uh, I'm going to demonstrate this with military press. Again, you can apply it to anything though. Okay, so what I do, I warm up with five sets of, of one weight, five sets of a little lighter weight, and the third or fourth time, I'm up to my working weight. It should be a really heavy weight that you can only do five or six times. I do three sets of that, and then I give it my max effort on each weight on the way down. So, I'm gonna, so just so you'll have that understanding, I'm gonna demonstrate that. Um, okay, so I typically use about 15 pounds, maybe 10 pounds to get ready. And again, this is gonna be real easy. Just bang out. One, two, three, four, five. Or you can do six. I usually keep it around five or six. Um, so you're not even feeling that yet. Just warming the joints up. Bump a little bit. I got 20, so I just use those. You shake it off for a second. Rest this for a second, and then five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Again, you're still not really feeling it, but now your joints are like, they're waking up. They're like, okay, we're gonna do some work. Shake it off just for a second. Then you go a little heavier still. I grab 30s. Okay. One, two, three, four, and all right. So, now keep in mind with these weights, weights are just what I, do, what I do. You can do, start off at two, go to four, go to six, and then your work weight is 10. As I always say, what's heavy, that's a relative term. So, I just did 30s, then I move up to 40s. My working weight is 50s for me. Uh, it's light to send me all, that's heavy for me. <laughs> So I move up to the 40s. All right. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now your muscles know they're here to play. So now I'm gonna do 50s. And you'll notice I'm wearing a weight belt. That's just for me. 
I'm not used to talking while I work out. <laughs> um, yeah, I've had back, back problems in the past. If you've watched any of my videos, you've heard me talk about that. Uh, so, I guess this makes me feel more secure because I'm back safe. Um, so now we'll do his 50s. All right. So this is my working weight. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, that's how you do it. All right. So now what I would do, oh, that's a good set. Now what I would do is, up until that last, work, that working set, I'm not really resting. I might shake it off five or 10 seconds and then do the next set. For the working sets, I give myself about a minute of rest between sets. And I do three working sets or four, depending on how much energy I have that day. Um, <clears throat> but after your working sets, you go back down. The difference is when you go back down, you're burning out the muscle. So whereas before you stopped at five, if you can do more than five, uh, then you do more than five. Say, hey, Kevin, you're sandbagging. You could have done one, maybe even two more. Maybe. But for the sake of my ugly working out face and not having y'all hear me breathe too heavy, I stopped there. Um, especially because you still have two more drop sets to go. So after you do that, you're going to be feeling the burn. You'll be real tired. Give yourself a minute rest between each one of these. But then again, you go down to weight. And again, bang it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. All right. feeling the burn so I still got two more to go so again give yourself about a minute rest before you do move on to the next for the sake of this video though I'm not gonna rest that long um, but as you're seeing on the way up you're warming up but on the way down you're, you're zapping any every ounce of strength out of that muscle out of that exercise Now, I could do more, but I don't want to see. I don't want to be, make this video too long. So again, you just move on. This will be my last work, my last set. I can't stress enough. Don't get fixated on the weights I'm using. Again, if you have to start off at one pound, then two pounds, then four pounds, then five pounds, that's fine. All right, one. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and oh, I'm feeling that burn. Now, even if that was the only exercise I did from all of that, I'd be straight up wiped out. But you can see that only takes to do all the way up and all the way back down with the three working sets. You're talking about what, maybe 10 minutes to do all that? That's a good workout. I mean, that's a 10 minute workout really in and of itself. Um, yeah, I see all these videos, these popular trends about taking three minutes of rest in between your sets. Who's got time to spend that much time in the gym, three minutes between each set? You'll be there all day. Um, and you don't get any cardio work that way. So that's why I do this. Um, stay motivated. Please keep watching. Let me know if you get anything out of these videos. And uh, I do plan on, I know I say it all the time, I do plan on making videos more consistently. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless.